Hello and welcome to Sorting Algorithms. You're watching episode 1, Time Complexity. First of all, what is time complexity and why are we discussing this? You see, algorithms are meant to do a task. However, more often than not, we're not just interested in getting a problem solved. We also want to solve it in the shortest amount of time possible. And that is what time complexity is. It is a measure of efficiency. In this series, we're going to cover a whole lot of sorting algorithms. And the whole idea why there are even more than one sorting algorithm out there is because some of them are more efficient than others. And how do we measure that efficiency? Well, we do so by looking at the time complexity. So you may be wondering, well, what is time complexity then? Now, Wikipedia says that time complexity of an algorithm quantifies the amount of time taken by an algorithm to run as a function of the length of the string representing its input. Now, chances are you didn't quite get that because I don't really. But if we break it down, the concept is actually really simple. Let's say now I have a list of n items. The question is, how many times do I actually have to go through this list before I can get whatever it is I want to do done? Now, let's say for example, I want to pick out the smallest element. What I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to run from left to right and I'm going to have to check every item. Obviously, I also need to take note somewhere else what is the smallest item I've encountered so far. Only after I've finished a pass through the entire list can I tell which number is, well, the smallest. In other words, this algorithm must make n comparisons. Why n? Because it's a list of size n, and it runs through every item once. Now, for certain sorting algorithms that we will encounter shortly, you will realize that it has to go through the list again and again, and for every pass through the list, one item is put in place. What this means is that the algorithm must run through a list of n items n times. This is what we call an algorithm with n square complexity. Now, if my explanation here isn't so crystal clear at the moment, check out Selection Sort and Bubble Sort, which are two sorting algorithms that I will cover right after this. In both these sorts, you will see the same behavior, which is basically the algorithm having to go through the list again and again, n times, until everything gets sorted. And that's basically it for this episode. As a quick recap, time complexity is basically a measure of how efficient an algorithm is. It measures this efficiency by considering how many comparisons it needs to make. Since of course this algorithm is working on a list, and let's say the list has n items in it, this number of comparisons is actually measured in terms of n. So obviously an algorithm of n square time is going to take longer than an algorithm of n time. And then we have the in the middle algorithms that take n log n time. But I will talk about that only when we get to the algorithms that actually do take n log n time. So well, that's all there is for this episode on time complexity. If you have any comments, queries or suggestions, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. I will of course do my very best to read and reply to each and every comment you send me. If you found this video helpful, I will greatly appreciate every like, favorite and subscription you give me. Until next time, you're watching 0612TV.